Hey, we're back here at round five of the Global Time Attack at Texas Motor Speedway. My name's Nads, and I'm here with Tony Circa. And this is a difficult interview for me to do because I hurt my arm in the war, and I think if I was at 100%, I would have gained maybe about two seconds on the track. And that's all I'm going to say. It's a Fiat driver challenge, and Tony may or may not have beat me by two whole seconds in a Fiat 500, but we're going to leave that for another time. But Tony Circa, this is a big deal for us because this car has been a long time coming. Supposed to debut at Button Willow at our first event. Supposed to be at Road Atlanta, Palm Beach, New Jersey. Now we're here at Texas and we see the car. You've been running very, very fast. We've heard about some secret testing. You've been running out at some of the NASA events in Arizona. And uh, tell us a little bit about the car. We're excited to have this here. You're, you're working double duty as usual. You're our race director, our race steward, our tech steward, helping out with all of that controlling all that actually and you're also debuting your unlimited all-wheel drive car tell us a little bit about the car Tony um, well we just uh, I tried to freshen the car up for this season uh, to uh, just be a little more competitive I mean I just get tired of getting my rear end handed to me by Westfall and uh, Warfield so uh, we lightened the car up about 200 pounds I tried to move more weight out of the front of the car we went to an air to water intercooler moved uh, myself back which is a significant amount of the weight of the car about 14 inches back and um, we uh, actually the powertrain left unchanged from last season. Um, you know, added some f fuel uh, improvements, added a, added a swirl tank, uh, got some better aero. I, I'm still working on a splitter. We got uh, cognition on board and helped us out with the wing. Um, Rockford Fosgate helped out with some uh, some backing so we can get the car together. And uh, you know, we got white line helps out. Comp clutch helped us out last year. AIT with the body kit again. Uh, fat head fabrication with the roll cage, uh, TS Customs a paint job. We had a ton of ton of people involved. Uh, AGP Turbo with the turbo. I mean, we've got full race manifold on the car. Everything's, all that stuff's been unchanged. But the car's getting faster and faster. And I just had a little bit of bad luck today. We had a NOAA pump failure again. So uh, didn't really get a good clean laps. And I just got three laps on the, in on the track so far. And I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, so you guys, uh, we, we were worried that the weekend will be done, so the car will be back tomorrow, correct, for day two? Uh, yeah, definitely. We just uh, spent most of the day putting the new oil pump in the car. We got uh, the uh, Evo Dynamics, uh, Evolution Dynamics, I think uh, the local shop uh, had the oil pump on hand. They brought it out to us. They were already back at the shop. Uh, so we put a, put a new oil pump in the car, fired it up, got a good oil pressure. We're going to let it warm up and make a couple rips up and down the street here. If it's not leaking, we're on the track tomorrow. Nice, great news. Tell us a little bit about the uh, the series. You're 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 controlling all of our tech. You you basically helped us write the rules, uh, controlling all our tech. Uh, what sort of cars have you seen here that you really like this weekend? Um, you know, I like all cars. I don't. I'm not picky at all. I I'll, I'll, I dig these little A bars. I mean, they're, the little Fiat 500s are fun. Um, I love seeing the progression of Mike Warfield's car. That thing's been just in, getting more and more insane as every day goes by. But uh, the Travis's car finally back together, stale performance car. Nice to see him out here, and then the whole crew actually made it to, to one of our events. It's actually great to see him out. We, he and I we duke it out at our own events in, in Phoenix, and uh, we have a great time. You know, we have a good family. We share parts. We share. He's actually going to be running on my my backup tires tomorrow. You know, it's like, you know, one team, one fight. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, we posted a picture today that had all four of your cars. We called it the AZ, the AZ mob. So you guys came in strong with uh, UMS, uh, Snail, and Forced Air Technologies. We greatly appreciate the support. We could not put this event on if it weren't for you. And we're happy to see you back in the seat where you belong. Except I'm not happy that you somehow cheated on the with the Fiat to beat me by a whole two seconds. And I'm telling you, I did hurt my arm in the war. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Tony Circa, our tech director here at GTA, as well as UMS Racing team principal and the driver in the Unlimited All-Wheel Drive Evo. We look forward to seeing what you're going to run for the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here, guys.